Hi guys, welcome to our channel Let's Decode. Ever wonder how that box on your digital camera know exactly where and what is face? We are here to let you create a model so that you can find the faces in your images. Only images? No, we are also going to do real-time face detection by taking the input from the webcam. For time constraint we won't discuss the tech behind it, you can find it in our future videos. So without any delay let's divide and conquer as we always do. First we will know basic operation on images. Next we look into computer vision toolbox and necessary function. Next we apply them practically on images. Then we know how to access webcam and extract the images from it. Finally, we combined all of them to make real-time face detection. Let's see some basic operation on images. Now open MATLAB, create a new script. Let's read an image present our current directory using Imriad function. If we have a look at the workspace we can observe the variable here. What are the ways present to plot it? Let's check them from plots tab. These are the available options to plot the image. At this moment we use imshow function. Let's see the image. Yup we got it. Update the code in the script. Now read another image. That's working fine. Try another. Oops, we have a problem here. Yes, it's due to extension mismatch. Change it as it is. Now we got it. It's difficult to change the file name and extensions for different picture every time. Now decrease the complexity using UE get file function which helps to select the file manually. Let's see how that works. The text we gave will appear as window name, and the format represents we can select any type of file. If the observe the workspace we can observe, we the directory is added to path variable and file name is added to file variable. Now mix these together using strcat function and save it in lock variable. We got the complete location of the file we selected. Now read the image and display it using imshow function. Yup we got it. Let's see how to get a gray image. We use rgb2 gray function to convert the color image to grayscale image. Run the section, we got it. We can observe the difference, RGB is a three-dimensional image, whereas gray image is one-dimensional. Let's try with another image. It's working fine. These are enough for this session. Let's move forward. Computer Vision System Toolbox provides algorithms, functions, and apps for designing and simulating computer vision and video processing systems. You can perform feature detection, extraction, and matching, as well as object detection and tracking. We are not going deep into them. Let's know about functions we need for objects detection. First one is Cascade Object Detector. It detects objects using the Viola Jones algorithm. Vision.Cascade Object Detector creates a system object that detects objects using the Viola Jones algorithm. The detector is capable of detecting a variety of objects, including facial features and a person's upper body. Next is Step Function. It performs multi-scale object detection on input image, I, and returns, B boxes, an M by 4 matrix defining M bounding boxes containing the detected objects. Each row in B boxes is a four element vector, x, y, width, height, that specifies the upper left corner and size of a bounding box in pixels. When no objects are detected, B boxes is empty. Image must be a grayscale or true color, RGB, image. Other function is insert object annotation. It returns a true color image annotated with shape and label at the position specified by position. It supports rectangle and circle, and different colors. Let's make it practical. Write code to read a desired image and convert it to gray image. Now create a model to detect the face using computer vision toolbox. Store the bounding box corner points of the face detected using step function. Insert a rectangular box at those points using the insert object annotation function and label it as face. The resulted image is stored in Detpic. Display the image using imshow function. Now run the file. Select an image and let's see. Yup we got it. We get the label as face as we like. Let's check for the mouth also. Change these values to mouth. Let's check. Oops. It's showing many mouth, which is not desired. But how to overcome this? Let's check that. 
without taking input every time make it as another section. Now use the another attribute of computer vision toolbox which is merge threshold. That helps to figure out the exact picture by increasing the threshold of the model created. Let's make the threshold to 10. Check it. It can eliminate some. Increase it again. Yup we get rid of many false objects. Increase the threshold to get the true object. Run it. Yup we got it. Similarly check for detecting nose also. Remove the threshold and check it. I forgot to change the label for it, let's change it. Yup without any threshold we got it. Similarly check for the eye also. Another way of setting the threshold is declaring it in the model creation itself. But how to detect all the facial features and show them in a single picture like this. Try that on your own, leave a message in the comments section if you have any doubts. We are done with static images. But how to access live images like from webcam? Let's try that also. We can access the webcam or extended camera of our PC using webcam function. Let's see the live video using preview function. Now run it. Yup we get the live video. What if we want to stop the streaming after 5 seconds? We can do that like this. Make sure that you clear all the variables before running the script, otherwise it will through an error. Now check it. Yup it closes after 5 seconds. Now what if we want to extract a picture from it? MATLAB provides snapshot function to get image from the video. Check whether it's working or not. Yes, it shows the extracted image. How to extract images continuously. It's an easy task. We put these in an infinite loop and display the image continuously with a delay of 0.01 seconds. Which will look like a motion video. Let's change the delay and check how the output is. Instead of clearing the variables every time we can clear the web variable. Now run it. There is not much difference. What if the delay is 1 second? We can observe the fall of frame rate. Great, we know how to access the webcam from our PC and stream it using MATLAB, and even we can get snapshots from it. Let's move to our final part. Well. What's remaining? Putting them all together to get real-time face detection is left. Let's create a variable to store webcam. Get the snapshot of it. Create the face detector. Display the image initially. Now create a loop to run continuously. Take the snapshot of the webcam. Convert it to gray and step the face detector on it. We use the resultant bounding box to put rectangle around the face using insert object annotation function. Finally display the picture. Check it. Yup, it's awesome. Let's do that to detect mouth. Change these lines to detect the mouth. Now run it. That's working great. If you want to use extended camera module added to your PC, you have to mention it. To know the available camera streams we use webcam list function, which gives the available cameras present. Here I have only one camera. You copy this and put in webcam function. Let's check whether it's working or not. It's working as in the previous case. If you do it, you will observe there will be some delay in the output. In real life it would be boring looking at buffering images. Why it's happening? Share your answer in comments section. We will post the best answers in our next video. But how to decrease that delay? To know that you have to wait for our next video. Until then stay home and stay safe. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss our future videos. Thank you and sayonara.